Piero unvisited W. Wordsworth. The speaker and companion go for a walk, but decide to bypass a visit to Yero. It will forever be remembered as a place not visited, but as the imagination pictures it. Notes from the back of the book. This lovely poem refers here and there to a ballad by Hamilton on the subject that are treated in 127 and 128, which are The Braze of Yarrow and Willie Drowned in Yarrow. Yarrow Unvisited, 1803 From Stirling Castle we had seen the Maisie Forth unraveled, had trod the banks of Clyde and Tay, and with the Tweed had travelled. And when we came to Cloven Ford, then said my winsome Marrow, Whate'er betide will turn aside, and see the braes of Yarrow. Let Yarrow folk fray Selkirk town, who have been buying selling, Go back to Yarrow, tis their own, each, each maiden to her dwelling. On Yarrow's banks let herons feed, hares couch, and rabbits burrow, But we will downward with the tweed, nor turn aside to Yarrow. There's Gala Water Leader House, both lying right before us, and Dryburg where with chiming tweed the lint whites sing in chorus. There's pleasant Tibiot Dale, a land made blithe with plough and harrow, why throw away a needful day to go in search of Yarrow? What's Yarrow but a river bare that glides the dark hills under? There are a thousand such elsewhere as worthy of your wonder. Strange words they seemed of slight and scorn, my true love sighed for sorrow, and looked me in the face to think I thus could speak of Yarrow. O oh, green, said I, are Yarrow's homes, and sweet is Yarrow flowing, there hangs the apple fray the rock, but we will leave it growing. O'er hilly path and open strath will wander Scotland thorough, but though so near we will not turn into the dale of Yarrow. Let beeves and homebred kind partake the sweets of Burnmill Meadow, the swan on still St. Mary's Lake float double swan and shadow. We will not see them, will not go today, nor yet tomorrow. Enough if in our hearts we know there's such a place as Yarrow. The Yarrow stream unseen, unknown, it must or we shall rue it. We have a vision of our own. Ah, why should we undo it? The treasured dreams of times long past will keep them winsome marrow, for when we're there, although tis fair, twill be another yarrow. If care with freezing ears should come, and wandering seem but folly, should we be loath to stir from home, and yet be melancholy? Should life be dull, and spirits low, twill soothe us in our sorrow, that earth has something yet to show, the bonny homes of yarrow.